thanks for trusting Schmidt Security Pro as your service provider. Today we're going to be demonstrating the TVR mobile security app. This app is available for Android and iOS devices. For today's demo, we are using an Android device. Once the app is downloaded, we'll begin by opening the app. And the first thing we need to do is add our device to the app. We'll do this by pressing the three dashes in the upper left hand corner and selecting devices from the menu. From here we will select the plus icon in the upper right hand corner and select manual add. Here we will give our DVR a name. Next we will select register mode, IP, domain, or easy DDNS. Depending on what we use here, your technician will explain and help you set this up. For today's demo, we're using IP domain. Next, we'll begin by entering our address. The port should remain 8000 unless your technician has told you otherwise. And for today's demo, we're using the default username and password. Once that's finished, we will hit the save icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now we are ready to begin viewing cameras. You'll notice that we have connected. It shows our camera number changed to five and the start live view button is available at the bottom of the screen. If for some reason you can't connect to your system, you will get an error or a connection error message at this point consult your technician for help. Next, we'll start by pressing Start Live View. You'll notice that we've connected now to our system and we're now viewing one camera. For this demo, we're using a four channel system. To see more than one camera, we'll press the number four at the bottom of the screen. If we're using more than four camera system, we can press 9, will give us 9 images at one time, or 16 will give us all 16 cameras from a 16 camera system. To return back to a single camera, we either double tap on a camera we want to see, or we press the number 1 icon at the bottom of the screen. Next we will switch from substream to mainstream. Notice that the camera video is just a little bit fuzzy. This is because TrueVision uses a lower stream quality by default for faster viewing of the camera. To see your high definition camera in action, we will press the icon that kind of looks like a window in the bottom middle part of the screen. From here, we will select mainstream. The camera will now switch to the high definition mainstream from the DVR. Notice how the video quality improves. This will be the same for all cameras if you wish to see them in the mainstream high definition view. To view playback video, we'll so again select the three dashes in the upper left hand corner and select remote playback. From here, we'll need to select the time and date that we wish to view and select the DVR and the cameras that we wish to see video from. To begin, press the plus button in the middle of the screen. From here, we'll select the time start time and an end time. Next we'll select our DVR and the camera that we wish to view. The camera will then return to the date and time you selected. To fast forward or rewind, we'll simply press and hold on the blue line at the bottom and drag to the right or drag to the left. 
that will increase or decrease our time. From here, if you wish to save video or an image to your phone, you can press the camcorder icon and you notice a circle with an R appears in the left hand corner of the camera. This is recording to your device what you are currently watching from playback. When you're finished, you can hit the same icon again and recording will stop. You can also take a snapshot picture by pressing the camera icon. If you are finished viewing playback, we will hit the square with the X's in the corner. And to return to live, we'll hit the three dashes and select live view. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to contact our service department.